Hey you folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to a quick Cities Skylines video where I want to show you a very cool mod that I found. It's called Lane Changer Dash No Left Slash Right Turn. If you check the description box down below, you can find the page for it on Steam. And here's basically how it works. Um, when you're trying to manage traffic flow in a city, right? You know, we've got, a, let's say, a busy intersection somewhere, and um, we're trying to... to improve the flow of traffic at a certain intersection. One of the things we do is set some one-way streets to do that, and that certainly works, but in real life there's a slightly less dramatic um, way that you can make an adjustment to an intersection as well, and that is to encourage or to prevent people from being able to make a left-hand turn through an intersection, which is like kind of a, a soft one-way, because you don't mind people making a right-hand turn, because that's a pretty lightweight kind of thing, but a left-hand turn has to cut across traffic, which causes things to slow down. Um, and what you can do here is you can ban the ability to make turns in certain directions. And yeah, this uh, will adapt perfectly fine if you're playing for on the, uh, you know, driving on the left side of the road as opposed to the right side of the road uh, variant of the game. So with this mod installed, that adds a new button over here called Lanes. You click on that, and with that tool enabled, which it is right now, you click on a road segment, say right over here. That will highlight this road segment as blue. So this is the road segment we have selected. Then I can enable lane control on this road segment, like so. Every piece of road that is connected to the segment is now green. And what I can do is I can toggle those to prevent the ability to make that turn. So for example, if I want to prevent left turns from here to there, I simply click here, toggle is red. You can see the um, the turn symbol uh, updates as well, right? Uh, oh, apparently it didn't light back on. That might just be a visual thing because I'm paused. Huh. Actually, I don't know. If I disable lane controls, everything's back to normal. Enable lane control, do that. It might just be a graphical thing, I don't know. But now you can't make a left-hand turn. I could also, if I wanted to, ban right turns. In fact, if I reset these, if I wanted to, I could prevent straight-throughs as well. Now, it doesn't update in real time, or we've known this from City Skyline, is people, vehicles that have already calculated their path, will continue on their existing path. But new cars that continue to sort of spawn and work out new routes will no longer go straight through here. So we'll have to maybe wait a couple of minutes, but if we check, especially if we toggle into the um, traffic view thing, we should, actually we can see here, there's only I think one, maybe two vehicles that are still um, trying to go straight through this intersection from here. And if we just wait, eventually that should go all the way to nothing whatever this last vehicle that's still going straight is will go away. So this gives you a little bit more control over your city. Banning left-hand turns, or if you're doing left side of the road uh, map, banning right-hand turns, can dramatically simplify the traffic thro flow through an intersection without forcing you to use one ways everywhere. And I think that is an absolutely excellent, excellent um, little mod. What I'll do here is I'll go ahead and... Um, Go back to the main menu and show you a list of all the mods that I've got now, because I know a few people will definitely ask. It is worth noting, <clears throat> excuse me, that apparently this lane changer, no left, right turn mod does conflict with the traffic plus plus mod, which is a thing that allows you to have a zonable um, pedestrian path. So at this time, it looks like those two things do conflict because they both modify some of the intersections. Maybe someone will combine the two mods together or come up with some sort of system to combine the two together. You can see my list of mods here. This is a new one, a lane changer. No left-right turns, um, and again, there'll be a link to that down below. Extended public transport UI, very nice. Fire spreading. Traffic report tool is the other tool that I showed you in, the, in this video to show you where everyone is going. It gets a little bit messy if you click on a segment of road like I just did, but you can also click on a single car and just see what that particular one does. Uh, automatic line coloring, so every transport line is a slight different color. No pillars allows you to do really cool things like run railroad tracks directly above roads if you toggle that on and off. Uh, chirp filter removes all non-important messages from the chirper. Ground level camera lets you walk around. Auto save, auto saves every few minutes. Dynamic resolution can increase your resolution in your game. I do have that turned off, but it can make things look a little fancier if you want. And you've got a powerful computer. Uh, tree brush, you can just paint down lots of trees simultaneously. Automatic bulldozing of abandoned or burned down buildings. And 25 spaces unlocks everything on the map. And then these are just standard mods over here. Um, kind of funny, I've got some sort of duplicate here. I bet you these are here because of um, 
I was running the pre-release version or something. It's probably a duplicate of those, but they're exactly the same as the built-in ones. So there you go. Um, there is another mod that I am tracking right now that has not yet been released that looks like it's going to be unbelievably sexy. It lets you convert intersections um, to have traffic lights on or off. Uh, you can even manually control traffic lights, but also you can replace the traffic lights with um, stop signs or yield signs based on like every direction as well. So it allows you to prioritize traffic, say, on a main route road and have no... Um, where there's no stop at all, but the side roads would have stop signs, um, and therefore traffic flowing on your main road would always have priority and look pretty good. It's also going to make roundabouts work so, so much better if you make sure that the roads coming into an intersection have some sort of yield sign, for example, but the... Um um, the, the roads that are just going around on the roundabout would have the high priority flow so that, um, you know, people don't come in to the roundabout ag as aggressively as they used to and block up all the traffic. So that'll be a really, really, really nice change. Uh, it's not currently on the Steam Workshop, though. They're still working to develop it. Um, but when that comes out, hopefully I'll, um, uh, I'll catch that and make a video for it as well and let you know that link. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.